So, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you subscribe to the videos, thank you very much. It really helps and this is what this is all about. I am passing this knowledge for free to you. I'm not charging you anything for it. So, subscribing is very important. So, in this video, we're going to see how we connect the batteries together. Now, obviously, these seven batteries here, this is a master battery. If you see my earlier video, and this is the last battery. So, seven batteries in total. Now, the way they're connected together is something called parallel. Um, basically, what parallel means is all the pluses are connected together and all the negatives are connected together. And the master battery, whatever's left, either negative or positive, is going to be one pole. And the last battery, whatever's left, negative and negative, is going to be the first pole. So obviously the way you connect them together is the way it is. Um, if they were connected in series, um, it would be plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Um, you would get a higher voltage, but you wouldn't get the amperage. So the way the inverter works is like you need amperage, you need the, the power behind it, the kilowatts behind it. So that's why we connect them in parallel. So let's start from the top. So if you look from right from the top, you will see we've got obviously our electrical connections here. Now, obviously what you have to do is decide which is going to be your top and which is going to be your bottom. So this is obviously your bottom, this is obviously your top. So when you connect them all together, you're going to have a, one pole there and one pole there. Now, if you look at a top battery, you've got all the positives connected together. So positive, 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 etc. Then you've got the negatives connected together. You can see my pointy stick there. Negative, 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 negative. Okay, so you've got we've got connection in parallel here. Now, obviously, what's left over is a negative at the top, which is going to be to the inverter, which goes direct to the inverter, and at the bottom it's going to be a positive, which goes direct to the inverter. So this is the way you connect them in, in, in parallel. If you've got any questions, give me a mention on the comments i'll answer any questions you have but it's pretty straightforward how to do it Um, bit cumbersome and um, in the next video i will obviously describe the wiring which is obviously the earth connection there and um, the wiring is a bit messy it could be tidy i understand that um but for this sort of tutorial we need to know how we connect stuff together so the next video is going to be about the wiring to the inverter and um, from the mains box um, to the inverter itself, how it all works, how it works in conjunction with your um, solar panels um, and how to connect the CT clamps up. You see the CT clamps up there going up there? So how to connect them up as well. So the next video will be about that. Thank you very much. Bye bye.